Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Today we're talking about 10 millimeter chronograph speeds and barrel length. So recently I did a video on this thing. This is, uh, I always got to read it, TNWASR 16 inch barrel. Normally you think longer barrel, faster speeds. Well, when I had this thing out, several, several people commented why in the devil would you have a 16 inch 10 millimeter that 16 inch barrel is slowing down the boo lot you get faster speeds out of a five inch barrel 10 millimeter and my initial thought was there is absolutely no way that's true and then my second thought was maybe it is we'll never know till we try so i've got this 16 inch and some change barrel in 10 millimeter and then I also have this high point 10 millimeter, which is five inch barrel ish. It might be four, it might be five. I don't know what it is, but we're going to chronograph these and these and see what the speeds are. What did I bring out here? I brought out some 180 grain full metal jacket. Oh, kick the camera tripod. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to get a couple speeds of each then because I want to deer hunt with this stuff and so I know I'm going to get the speeds of this Remington core locked handgun out of the longer barrel scoped rig that I'll potentially be uh, deer hunting with also because somebody's going to ask this is my Banish 46 can on this one right here pretty sweet I want to catch a deer with that rig that's literally why I bought that thing but we get the camera set up on the chronograph here. We'll see what happens. Comment down below. Higher or, or longer barrel or shorter barrel. Which one do you think is going to be the fastest? My vote is going with the longer barrel. We'll see what happens. All right. First, with the Pistola, the uh, high point. No idea what these are going to read, but that's why we're doing this whole video. Also, we're at like three yards, by the way. 11.01 and 10.90 so average there is like 10.95 now let's grab the longer barrel same stuff right here don't need all the zoomies here for this don't hit the chronograph 12.85 so almost 200 feet per second faster with this barrel which is what I want for deer hunting Oh, come on, we had a jam. Come on, man, we can't, can't be jamming while we're making videos. Thirteen thirty-eight out of that one. So, uh, the data shows the longer 16 inch and some change 10 millimeter barrel is absolutely faster and it's not slowing it down from that shorter barrel. Now, let me grab some of this core log tan gun. So that full metal jacket 180 was 1338, the last one. Now this stuff, what is the box saying? This is a 200 grainer. And the box is saying that it's hotter than that full metal jacket, even though it's heavier. We didn't show you one of those. But this will be what I will be deer hunting with, what I do with the mag. Need the mag, so Let's see. That wasn't real smart to throw it in the mud, was it? Let's see what this reads. I hope we get 1300 out of this thing. That'd be sweet. There we go. 1246. So, still faster considerably than what the box is. So, does the longer barrel 10 millimeter get you faster speed is it more zoomy absolutely yes and somebody's gonna say that's because you got that can on there that can's making some magic speed out of it no no it's not but hey uh, like i said i didn't want to believe it and we don't know until we get the actual true data and film it with the cameras but the 16 inch barrel is still increasing the speed 
from the five inch now. Is it slowing it down from like a 14 inch? I don't know. And I'll probably never know until I see somebody else try that. But uh, some people make some pretty cool videos where they're cutting it off, cutting it off and find the optimum length. But this length keeps the government away from me if you're picking up what I'm laying down. So I like this length, but hey, appreciate y'all watching. Deer hunting rig with 10 millimeter, pretty slick. We'll see you guys on the next one. Hoo-dee-hoo.